Hello guys, my name is Alessia and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today we continue watching The Big Bang Theory Season 2. So Season 1, they left us on the biggest cliffhanger of all the time. We saw Penny and Leonard leaving for their date and I'm super excited for all the tea that happened during the date. Or maybe we're gonna see, you know, what happened on the date like in Season 2. Or we'll see how their relationship gonna develop, if they're gonna be together or no, they're gonna be friends or no friends, so many questions, so many questions. So let's talk in guys, let's get started. So you see what you're eating is not technically yogurt because it doesn't have enough- Oh yeah, I think options. it's after the day, really that's what happened. Like that's how they were dressed. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> oh no. Is it Howard? Or who? Or Sheldon? Or <laughs> Raj? <laughs> There's a draft. Oh, oh no, why? You know what, maybe we should slow things down a little. No, no, I didn't mean to go into your apartment to go fast. No, I know. <laughs> I, I know what you meant, it's just, it was only our first uh, date. Yeah, yeah, okay, it's not sure, ready. No why don't we just, then rate of speed equals distance over time. <laughs> I think Penny needs to Solve process if she wants to be together or no. Or we could just wing it. Good night, Leonard. Good night. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> oh my god, guys, you screwed. <laughs> Act oh, natural. Hey, Leonard, how was your day? How could you just sit there and let them spy on me? They were clever, Leonard. They exploited my complete lack of interest in what you were doing. <laughs> You should they found the loop. When future generations try to determine why your relationship with Penny crashed and burned, this right here is the black box. Oh, God. What are you talking about? The dude, she said she wants to slow things down. Okay. It's so not a bad she wants thing. To slow things down. It's like saying, Yeah, just don't want to rush really everything. Just want to enjoy the moment. Meal, you know? Exactly. Enjoying and everything. Well, no, we sort of decided to wing it. Oh, even I know that's lame. <laughs> Okay, all right, let's assume you're Oh, hypothesis. don't go we now. To, look, everything went fine. I didn't even have to refer to my impromptu conversation starters. Wow. <laughs> he was fully me. prepared for the date. Let's go to look at her reaction to the goodnight kiss. No you change in respiration, her. pupils undilated, no flushing of the chest. Area. Yes. What's up, by the way? <laughs> Interesting, her jaws are clenched, no tongue access. Clearly a bad sign amongst mating humans. I'm not there because I'm taking things slow. Which, by the way, compared to you guys, approaches warp speed. <laughs> that, that's a good one. It was a lot more fun when he had no hope. <laughs> Give him time. Um. I just hope that Leonard not gonna, you know, pressure Penny to go hi. faster oh, hi, than she wants. Yeah, F1. Sheldon, may I ask you a question? I would prefer that you not, but I won't go so far as to forbid it. All right, I heard yes. So. <laughs> okay, here's my question. Has Leonard ever dated, you know, a regular girl? Well, I assume you're not referring to digestive regularity. No, I meant, she has he ever been involved with someone out everything. who wasn't a brainiac? Oh, well, a few years ago, he did go out with a woman who had a PhD in French literature. How is that not a brainiac? Well, for one thing, she was French. <laughs> for another, it was literature. So, <laughs> oh my God, poor Sheldon. <laughs> Do you think that if Leonard and I keep oh, dating, he's he gonna fold his socks as well? Sheldon. That depends. It has no business being involved with a waitress slash actress who felt so insecure that she lied to him about finishing community college. I wanted to think I was some kind of stupid loser. You thought the opposite of stupid loser was community college graduate? <laughs> you know, there are a lot of successful people in this country who are community college graduates. Yeah, but you were neither. Oh my god, Sheldon. Right. <laughs> no support at this all. This is between you and me. You cannot tell Leonard any of this. You're asking me to keep a secret? Oh no, no here we well, go I'm again. Sorry, but oh. you would have had to express oh, we're gonna that hire before revealing the, the secret. Actor again. So that I could choose whether or not I wanted to accept the covenant of secret keeping. <laughs> You're gonna you break him. You can't a secret on an ex post facto basis. Okay, look, if Leonard finds out that I lied, I will absolutely die of embarrassment. 
physiologically impossible. Oh, Sheldon, please. <laughs> I'm sure Look, he's going to be all right with it. Friend. He doesn't care. So you're saying that friendship contains what? within it You've been doing an inherent now? obligation to maintain confidence? I mean, I'm sure he does, but yeah. if you didn't finish or whatever, you'd so be like, more question, all right. Perhaps I should... You could be Batman. Sure. I'm Batman. See? <laughs> Oh no. Honey, if you're not doing anything Friday Don't night, I thought maybe anything. we could go see a movie. Oh, um, you know, I think I have the dinner shift on Friday. Okay. What about Saturday? You know, I'm not sure. The manager hasn't posted the schedule yet. How about I let you know? Great. God, I am the bad fish. <laughs> Aww. You're all good. What Don't did worry. I do wrong? Why are you asking me? <laughs> I have no information about your interactions with Penny other than what you've provided me, nor do I have any method of learning such things. <laughs> Oh <laughs> I just think you need to be careful how you phrase things, sir. That's it. He's gonna spill the tea now. For sure. What's going on with you? Well, I might ask you the same question. Why do you insist on attempting to drag me into matters which have nothing to do with me, but exist between you and Penny, a person to whom I barely speak? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. He's broken. That's it. Also today, we have a fresh caught Alaska salmon, and that's served with a teriyaki glaze and sticky rice. Our soup of the day. <laughs> just release me from my oath. I'm going to fold like an energy based de novo protein in conformational space. Why is it so hard for you to keep one little secret? I'm constitutionally incapable. That's why I was refused clearance for a very prestigious government research fellowship at a secret military super collider located beneath a fake agricultural station 12.5 miles southeast of Traverse City, Michigan. What? You just exposed probably the biggest secret. <laughs> Which you did not hear about yeah, from me. Oh my god. You want me to forget? This mind does not forget. <laughs> I haven't forgotten a single thing since the day my mother stopped breastfeeding me. You promised me you would keep my secrets. So you're just gonna have to figure out a way to do it. Leonard, I'm moving out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there is other ways. What do you mean you're moving out? Why? There doesn't have to be a reason. I.e. I'm moving out because I'm moving out. <laughs> I'm still confused. Leonard, I don't see how I could have made it any simpler. If you'll excuse me, I'm going to pack. Because <laughs> he's moving That's out. kind of an overreaction to a little <laughs> harmless necrophilia. <laughs> it's not you, Howard. He says he's moving out. What did you do? <laughs> did you change the contrast of brightness settings on the television? <laughs> no. Did you take a bandit off in front of him? No. Did you buy generic ketchup, forget to rinse the sink, talk to him through the bathroom door? Oh my god, so Adjust many the thermostat to good cilantro, pronounce reasons. the tea in often? Well, that was fast. It's my pre-packed disaster evacuation bag. It's recommended I'm not by even surprised. Security. <laughs> Until I find a permanent place, I will stay with friends. Bye. <laughs> Aren't you gonna expose the secret? You can't stay with me. Like to them? I have a teeny no? tiny apartment. <laughs> That's it. I hate trains. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. You love trains. <laughs> yes, I do. Come on. Oh my god, Sheldon has its own ways. Aren't you supposed this to celebrate? <laughs> yeah, be like, yay, Sheldon is out. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't bring my Geiger counter. You know, I had it on my bed and I didn't pack it. Well, if you're not comfortable seeing it, Sheldon. I'm kidding, I packed it. <laughs> it was a joke. Is that woman a Shwarya Rai? Yes, isn't she an amazing actress? Actually, I'd say she's a poor man's moderate diction. Uh -oh. How dare you? <laughs> Obviously, you're not that familiar with Indian cinema. <laughs> of course. <laughs> um, I think you have to change the location. And Who it's is gonna it? be Howard. Stripper Grim! <laughs> What's it rush? Tag, you're it. I've never slept on an air mattress before. Oh, it's so uncomfortable. No I hate that. I'm perfectly comfortable sleeping on a bouncy couch. Such a good blanket as well. <laughs> get out of bed. We're switching. But now, only if you want to. Just get in the bed. I'm not gonna let you have any more sleepovers. 
God's sake, Mom, 27 years old. It's not even a school night. <laughs> Comfy now? Meh. Oh my goodness. I would slap Sheldon. I'd be like, I Looks offer you a place. A give me my bed. <laughs> And all I get is a look at it. She's like my fourth Slap. favorite cat. Does Julie Newmar, Michelle Pfeiffer, Eartha Kitt, Lee Merriweather? Please, I'm begging you, go ah. to sleep. I'm trying. I'm counting cat women. <laughs> Pops Iceman, then store. <laughs> I'm coming. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah. <Please. laughs> there he is. That was my old expected. Buddy, bud, bud. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> Still don't know why you left. Uh, I can't tell you. Why not? I promised Penny. Uh oh, that's it. Penny now what? we're gonna spill all I the tea. The Get secret. ready. What secret? Tell me the secret. I'm Batman. Yeah, I'm a <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Now Leonard won't be able to fall Penny asleep. Penny told you a secret. What's the secret? Okay, I'll tell you. You can't tell Leonard. <laughs> We're not going to tell him, don't worry. Penny lied about graduating from community college because she's afraid she's not smart enough for Leonard. Penny thinks I'm too smart for her. That's ridiculous. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Most of your work is extremely derivative. Uh, no. Come on, Sheldon, go to sleep. <laughs> hi. Yeah, hi, listen. Oh, I no. know what's been bothering you about us, and I have the answer. What are you talking about? Okay, first, I want to say that He's it's gonna not Sheldon's fault. He tried very everything. hard to keep your secret. If Howard hadn't drugged him, he would have taken it to his grave. <laughs> but he would have but to move to space. Okay. Pasadena City College? A place for fun, a place for knowledge. Ooh, I would be... See, this man here mad? is a hacky sack, and this girl's going to be a Why paralegal. would you do that, Leonard? It's kind of... I get it because but. Dr. Leonard Hofstetter can't date a girl without a fancy college degree. Right, but I have to have some sort of degree to date you. That doesn't matter to me at all. So it's fine with you if I'm not smart. Absolutely. <laughs> oh my, it, it was like a... Okay, this time I know where I went wrong. It's like a weird situation. He's like, understandable, he just wanted like to help her. But like, oh, he didn't finish, uh, I'll help you, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, I don't know, that's so weird. Like, I wouldn't do that if, I wouldn't do this if I was Leonard. I'd be like, okay, I would be like, yeah, that's, that's cool with me if you haven't finished it. Literally, I don't care at all. But I wouldn't handle her the thing and be like hey here at the community college you can finish it yay i would slap leonard <laughs> worst renaissance fair <laughs> oh ever. my goodness <laughs> But in 1487, the Bavarian purity laws, or Reinheitsgebot, severely <laughs> For some reason, I don't know, I can't even see Sheldon. The He's like, had some <laughs> looking cool. <laughs> nitpicking. Oh, 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 really? Well, here's another nitpick. And also, <laughs> the flagons would the, not have been made costume. in polypropylene. It's it's Howard. <laughs> the bosom say, Sheldon, I just want to be part of the conversation. <laughs> Hi, guys. Looks like you've been to the Renaissance Fair. No, I don't tell me she's already dating with someone else. Renaissance. Okay, fine, whatever. Um, you guys, this is my friend Eric. Hello. Hi. Just hey. a friend? Just a friend? <laughs> Need confirmation. So yeah, good to see you. Yeah, yeah, it's good to see you too. That is oh, weird. Yeah. yeah, like your hat. Well, she could have said something Thanks, to Leonard. I'd be like, it. okay, we're gonna have smoke. I know what he did, but. Penny with a new guy, Trey Awkward. Yeah, but still be like, it wasn't you know awkward. what? Oh my god, I'm actually gonna pause. Yeah, so, uh, that's a bit weird. They, they should have, like, talked through everything, just discuss it. And, yeah, that's weird. I feel kind of bad for Leonard. He kind of tried to help, you know, he's being nice, understandable for Penny. I don't know, weird and awkward. <laughs> Besides, what's the Super big deal? Awkward. We dated, we, we stopped dating, and now we're both moving on. By moving on, do you mean she's going out with other men and you spend the afternoon making 15th century soap with Wolowitz? Uh. Can I please just go in? My chain mail's stuck in my underwear. <laughs> You're wearing modern underwear? Relatively modern. <laughs> oh, 
Why? What are you wearing? Are you wearing? supposed to wear super I old underwear? I thought accurate undergarments out of linen. <laughs> you went out and bought linen? Don't be silly. I borrowed one of your pillowcases. Oh! Borrowed? <laughs> you know what? I'm happy that Penny's moving on. It gives me the freedom to move on myself. Are you yeah, saying that you've been good. holding back? <laughs> <laughs> well, I've dated plenty of women. There was uh, Joyce Kim, Leslie Winkle. It's more than one. Notify the editors of the Oxford English Dictionary. The word plenty has been redefined to mean two. <laughs> uh, what about that girl last year at Comic-Con? Uh, doesn't count. Why not? What happens in costume at Comic-Con stays at Comic-Con. <laughs> I'm only saying that because of what happened to you. What happened to you? N n nothing happened to me. What happened? It wasn't your fault, Raj. He was dressed as a green Orion slave girl. Oh, no. <laughs> How did you get on me? What about Leslie Winkle? Oh, no. Back to Why? square one. Her research methodology is sloppy. She's unjustifiably arrogant about loop quantum gravity. Yeah, and, and to make matters and worse, she's queen. often mean to me. <laughs> I think she's smoking hot. I'd hit that. Look, I like Leslie, but she's not interested in dating as much as using men as tools for stress release. Yeah, so be a tool. <laughs> Go get yourself a little rebound stress release. Technically, it would only be rebound if he and Penny had actually engaged in physical intimacy. You mean like you and Richard the slave girl? Oh my god, I don't even want to know what happened there. Just... Hey, Leonard. Hey, Leslie. Give me hey, your chance. Come on, come on. Hello to you, insufficiently intelligent person. <laughs> Ooh, rush me to the burn unit. Hey, Leonard, do you have a second? I need to ask you something. Uh, sure. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go do work that promises significant results, <laughs> as opposed to what you do, which does not. So I heard your relationship with Penny crashed to the ground like blue eyes falling out of an airplane lavatory. <laughs> what? Rumors spreading that? so fast. Actually, I read it. Wallowitz texted me. Oh my god. He's falling out of an airplane lab. He needs to be this like <laughs> chill out. He's just LOL. posting <laughs> everything about everyone. Anyway, it got me thinking now that you're unattached, maybe we can revisit our previous attachment. Are you suggesting another bout of stress release? No, I'm all done with casual sex. From now on, I'm fully committed to the traditional relationship paradigm. How do you <laughs> suggest we proceed? Your place will order Chinese, you'll rent a movie, artsy but accessible, then light petting, no coitus. <laughs> Oh my god, this girl Sounds plans fun. everything. I'll leave the details up to you. I, I think it's better if you assume the, the mail. Flow, you know? Call me. No. <laughs> Weird, but cute, but I don't know. <laughs> Great news. My mom sent me my old Nintendo 64. Oh, Sheldon Mills is mine. Sheldon Mills is mine. Perfect. You know what this means, don't you? Break out the Red Bull. It's time to rock Mario old school. Sheldon, it's a date. I have a date coming over. Oh. Well, you can't blame me for not jumping to that conclusion. <laughs> well, uh, nevertheless, I have one now, and I'd appreciate it if you would, you know, make yourself scarce. If, Leonard, I am a published theoretical physicist with two doctorates and an IQ which can't be accurately measured by normal tests. How much scarcer could I be? <laughs> you know what I mean. Could you just give us a little privacy? You want me to leave the apartment? Yes. Well, why should I leave? This is my apartment, too. I know it is, and if science ever discovers a second member of your species and you two would like some privacy, I'd be more than happy to get out of your way. <laughs> That's a good example. Well, right. What are you doing? Playing Super Mario on a poorly coded Nintendo 64 emulator? Because Leonard, get this, has a date. <laughs> oh, well, good for him. <gasps> hey, Penny. <laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> Leslie Winkle. Of all the overrated physicists in all the labs in all the world, why does it have to be Leslie Winkle? Okay, well, I have a date too, so we'll see ya. Everybody has a date. Pretty good orange chicken. Yeah, it's from Chang's. No Chow's? No, Chang's. What happened to Chow's? It changed. So, how many children do you think we should have? <laughs> oh my god, straight <laughs> That was a little Don't abrupt. Besides shortness, what genetic weaknesses run in your family? I'm sorry to interrupt. Battery's dying. Continue. Uh, genetic weakness, right. Um, uh, there's the lactose intolerance. Don't forget the male pattern baldness. <laughs> <laughs> what now? I have to make pee-pee. 
Listen, I'm sorry about all of Sheldon's interruptions. He can be a bit of an eccentric. You're sure you're okay postponing intercourse until our relationship is past the initial viability test? I believe protocol dictates that you wait a minimum of 18 hours before you call, so I'm not repulsed by your cloying eagerness. <laughs> sure. It was an experiment designed by this guy named Schrodinger. <laughs> oh, what? From the Charlie Brown cartoons? <laughs> Still in this thing that Sheldon told her. That's so cute. Oh, hi, Leonard. Yeah, awkward. Okay, that's too much of okay, a Good night. Okay, well, good night. <laughs> that ain't gonna make your point. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's <laughs> too much. Oh my god, you both should. Oh my god, no, no, that's too much. Too much. Call me. <laughs> well, okay, good night. Uh, what? Have a great time, chow. That was. What, what just sorry. happened? I am not what going just back to the happened? Hey, fellow scientists. Mm. Sheldon. Oh! <laughs> Why don't we all move over there so Leslie can join us? Oh my god. <laughs> He's gonna stop her with a fork. If you're having trouble deciding where to sit, may I suggest one potato, two potato? Or as I call it, the Leslie Winkle experimental methodology. Don't make this hard for me. It's not hard. It's simple. You can either sit with me, your friend, colleague, and roommate, or you can sit with an overrated scientist you might have sex with. You're right, it is simple. <laughs> Aww. Sad for Sheldon. <laughs> but hey, it's Sheldon. funny. Penny, hold on. Are you sure things can't work out with you and Leonard? Okay, where is this coming from? Leonard is upstairs right now with my arch enemy. Your arch enemy? Yes, the Dr. Doom to my Mr. Fantastic. The Dr. <laughs> Octopus to my Spider Man. The Dr. Savannah to my Captain Marvel. Okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. It's Leslie Winkle, Penny. She belittles my research. Oh, sweetie, I'm sorry. She called me dumbass. <laughs> Not the I only know, one. I heard. Given this situation, I have no choice but to withdraw my previous objections to your ill considered relationship with Leonard. Oh, gee, well, thank you for that. But um, I think for now, Leonard and I are just going to stay friends. No, that response is unacceptable to me. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be together. Sheldon, you are a smart guy. You I'm must smart? know. Smart? I'd have to lose 60 IQ points to be classified as smart. You must know that if Leonard and Leslie want to be together, nothing you can do is going to stop it. Wait a minute. Why am I doing all the giving here? <laughs> if Leonard's really my friend, why doesn't he have to support me and my hatred of Leslie Winkle? Because love trumps hate. Oh, now you're just making stuff up. <laughs> okay, good night, Sheldon. Ooh. When the two of you reach a natural stopping point, I'd like to have a word. If the word is pee-pee, just do it. <laughs> Sheldon, you like a little kid. Aww. Leonard, you're my friend. And friends support their friends, apparently. Why are you so going to tell him to break up with Leslie? your desire to have a relationship with Leslie. Thank you. I will graciously overlook the fact that she is an arrogant, subpar scientist who actually believes loop quantum gravity better unites quantum mechanics with general relativity than does string theory. Loop quantum gravity clearly offers more testable predictions than string theory. Balderdash. Matter clearly consists of tiny strings. Are you going to let him talk to me like that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, oh my god, I feel like Leonard doesn't even understand what the hell is well, going there's on. There's a lot of merit to both theories. No, there isn't. Only loop quantum gravity calculates the entropy ah, of black ooh, holes. Ooh, I understood. I understood what he so, did no, here. Like, sorry, Leslie. I guess I prefer my space stringy, not loopy. Well, I'm glad I found out the truth about you before this went any further. Truth? What truth? We're talking about untested hypotheses. It's no big deal. Oh, it isn't really? Tell me, Leonard. For how are we raising children? <laughs> <laughs> my God, just thinking about children a lot. I guess we wait until they're old enough and let them choose their own theory. We can't let them choose Leonard. They're children. That's it. Where, are they going to break going? up? I could have accepted our kids being genetically unable to eat ice cream or ever get a good view of a parade. This is a deal breaker. Oh. Look on the bright side. <laughs> there, there. What's the bright side? Only nine more months to Comic-Con. <laughs> 
Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I'm not even dressed the same, obviously Sean looks different. Captain? I'm I feel like this is his reading. true form. <laughs> Dogs didn't come into existence till the first half of the 20th century. <laughs> Sheldon. Oh my goodness. Sheldon is AFK. Oh, Benny, are I, you I thought someone was trying to break into the apartment. Yeah, I can't get my stupid door open. You appear to have put your car key in the door lock. Are you aware of that? Yeah. Would it be possible for you to do this a little more quietly? I can't get the damn key out. She's gonna rip point. him apart. Why did you put your car key in the door lock? Why? I'll tell you why. Because today I had an audition. It took me two hours to get there. I waited an hour for my turn. And before I could even start, they told me I looked too Midwest for the part. Too Midwest? What the hell does that even mean? Well, He's gonna explain the American to you. Midwest was mostly settled by Scandinavian and Germanic people. <laughs> single acting job. I've accomplished nothing. Haven't gotten a raise at work. Haven't even had sex in six months. And just now when I was walking up those stairs, a fly flew in my mouth and I ate it. Oh. <laughs> Frustrated because I am a failure at everything and my breath smells like fly. Oh. Poor Penny. Would you prefer to wait in our apartment? No, Sheldon, I'd rather sit on this freezing cold floor sobbing like a three-year-old. All right, then. <laughs> Sake. Just when I think I've gotten the hang of sarcasm. <laughs> Sheldor is back online. Sheldor? The Conqueror. What are you doing? AFK. I'm playing Age of Conan, an online multiplayer game set in the universe of Robert E. Howard's Conan the Barbarian. What's AFK? AFK. <laughs> Away from keyboard. Oh, I see. What does that stand for? <laughs> what? Oh, I see. Yes, but what does it stand for? What are you smart, Sheldon? What's going on? Leonard, guess what? I'm a level three warrior. <laughs> Great. Do you know there are groceries outside of your apartment? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shh. <laughs> I only bring it up because your ice cream's melting and it's starting to attract wildlife. <laughs> uh -huh, yeah. Do I stay in the jungle or go towards the beach? It doesn't matter. Right now you're looking for treasure. You want to catch me up? <laughs> Well, let's see. Uh, she attempted to open her apartment with her car key because her face is overly Midwestern. Uh, <laughs> she hasn't had sex in six months. And she ate a fly. Straight to the point. Like, uh, that's, that's, that's... Seriously? That's it. Oh my god, a treasure chest. I'm rich! Level three and she thinks she's rich. <laughs> <laughs> what a noob. <laughs> Oh my god, what is this experiment? <laughs> oh my god, is it this, ah, uh, the liquid, the mutant liquid or whatever it's called, I don't know, I can't remember. Yeah, How are you? Okay. just go away. Uh, listen, I need to talk to Sheldon. <laughs> no, that's what she said, Sheldon. <laughs> the game and I've been exploring the island of Tordage, but I can't figure out how to get past the guard captain. You're gonna have to learn to do these things for yourself, Penny. Don't patronize me, just get the sword. <laughs> oh my god, is she gonna become like what addicted the to the fuck? game? <laughs> it's me. They were playing all last night too. Some kind of weird comic book crossover. <laughs> there you go, one enchanted sword. Alright, gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give I wanna kill the guard captain. <laughs> That girl needs to get life. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Oh my god. Oh my god, hello? Sheldon! Danger! Danger! No danger, look, it's just me, Penny. Listen, I got to level 25 and reached Purple Lotus Swamp, right? You're in my bedroom. Yeah. Leonard gave me an emergency key. People can't be in my bedroom. Okay, well, can we go talk in the living room? I'm not wearing pajama bottoms. Why not? I spill grape juice. Aww. Wear different pajamas. Can't wear different pajamas. These are my Monday pajamas. 
You were invited on a quest to the Black Castle? Yeah, yeah, by some guys in Budapest. I'm just not sure it's the right move for my character. <laughs> of course it's not. You're only a level 25. These Hungarians, they're just using you for dragon fodder. Please, Perry, I'm <laughs> enough. I have to sleep. <laughs> oh my god, it sounds so bad. <laughs> Leonard, listen, don't go in Sheldon's room. He's not wearing bottoms. <laughs> that sounds even worse. Leonard's <laughs> like, what the hell? <laughs> Sheldon, you want to catch me up again? <laughs> Dr. Winkle, what colorful name did you call Dr. Cooper this time? <laughs> Dr. Dumbass. Dr. Cooper, Dr. Winkle apologizes. No, no she I doesn't. Don't. <laughs> If it is a crime to ensure that the university's resources are not being squandered chasing subatomic wild geese, then I plead guilty. I'm not sure what should have happened between two of them so they can't become at least, like, not enemies. Can you get that dark paper? <laughs> God, no. Well, don't turn it off. You might miss your call from the Nobel Committee letting you know you've been nominated as Dumbass Laureate of the Year. No. Oh, <laughs> Dr. Gablehauser, I have a series of important multi-loop calculations and simulations to run. All she's doing is reducing irrelevant data and making them mock. Excuse me. Gablehauser, it's for you. What? Oh my god. Hello? Penny, this is not a good time. <laughs> you know, He's in the middle of the war. The sink. We'll talk when I get home. I'm not getting the computing time, am I? Dumbass. <laughs> Leonard, you have to do something about Penny. She is interfering with my sleep, she's interfering with my work, and if I had another significant aspect of my life, I'm sure she'd be interfering with that too. <laughs> Why should I do something? You're the one who introduced her to online gaming. But yes, but you're the one who said hello to her when she moved in. <laughs> yeah. You simply blame, restrained yeah, yourself, Leonard. none of this would be happening. <laughs> Just tell her to leave you alone. I did. I told her. I texted her. I sent out a very emphatic Twitter. I even changed my Facebook status to Sheldon Cooper wishes Penny would leave him alone. I don't know what else to do. But if you don't figure something out, I warn you, I shall become very difficult to live with. No, oh, really? You mean up until now we've been experiencing the happy fun time, Sheldon? Yes. I'll go talk to her. <laughs> I need you oh my god, yeah, she's going crazy with the game. Shouldn't you be at work? I don't work on Mondays. <laughs> it's Thursday. <laughs> Ooh. Here's the thing. Um, sometimes people, good people, you know, they start playing these games and they find themselves through no fault of their own, you know, kind of addicted. Yeah, get to the point. Yeah. I'm about to level up here. Oh. It's just, it's, if a person doesn't have a sense of achievement in their real life, it's easy to lose themselves in a virtual world where they can get a false sense of accomplishment. Yeah, jabber, jabber, jabber. Okay, boys, Queen Penelope's back online. Penny, you've got Cheetos in your hair. Oh, thanks. <laughs> oh, you. <laughs> hey, Penny, it's me again, Leonard. Well, Leonard, I said not now. Yeah, I know, I'm just a little concerned about you. I said not now! Okay, maybe later. <laughs> hey, what's with him? Penny's been keeping him up at night. Ah, yes, online gaming addiction. It's nothing yeah, worse than really having that bad. multi player monkey on your back. Been there. Sheldon, wake up! Danger! Danger! You need to make a robot. Good afternoon, man. Sheldon. Sheldon. <laughs> I, oh, I no, knew it was coming. Oh, I'm too tired to do this. Yeah. She comes into my room. No one's supposed to be in my room. She's just trying to shore up her self esteem. It has nothing to do with sex. Everything has to do with sex. Hmm, testify. <laughs> I'm not touching that. <laughs> As you are either. way off. My point is that Tinkerbell just needs to get her some. <laughs> some what? Oh, yes, some sexual intercourse. You need to have I'll a nap, Sheldon. <laughs> no, how? You're not going to touch this whole idea isn't. Are you currently involved in a sexual relationship? <laughs> no. Would you like to be? <laughs> Sure, why not? Sheldon? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, of course. She, he's Can not gonna understand. Uh, oh yeah. my god! Yeah. Oh no! Oh no! There, 
problem solved. <laughs> oh, Sheldon, <Dumbass>. Sheldon, Sheldon. <laughs> I must say, you're playing very well for a woman of 23. 22. Right, 22. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you making like the oh, profile? The On a scale of one to five, with one being always initiated by him and five being always initiated by you, how do you prefer your sexual encounters to begin? That's on the registration? Oh, yes, it's quite extensive. <laughs> but if we complete it, you get a free expansion pack, 75 additional quests. Oh, awesome. Okay, I totally like to initiate. I'm a big old five. Oh, God. Imagine he has actually will be able to find another guy. Oh, what? He's right here. I'm sure that's the guy Hello? that showed the pal. Hi. I explained to you about your little mistake in the cafeteria. <laughs> Yes, you were very clear, as was everyone else at the table. You got Penny to sign up for online dating? No, no, no of course not. No, see, I use trickery and deceit. <laughs> because Sheldon is smart. Uh, Sheldon, what oh do you want? Oh my god. Oh, good, you got my note. Penny, I'd like you to meet Tom. Uh, Penny, this is Tom. Tom, oh. may I present Penny? Hi, Penny. Yeah, hey, listen. As long as I'm here, if I'm on a quest with a bunch of noobs, they don't know what they're doing. We've got one assassin, three spellcasters, and no tank. Can we talk about this later? No, 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 no. I need you now. You... Whatever, I'll figure it out myself. Uh, bye, Penny. I'm sorry, dude. She didn't look anything like her picture. <laughs> <laughs> they never do. Who are you? It is I, Sir Howard what? of Wallowitz. <laughs> oh my god, he's there as well. Can I interest you in an afternoon of spirited questing, followed by a flagon of ale at yon virtual tavern? Yeah, sure. Why not? What? Oh my god, I need help. <laughs> All you need is Howard. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, guys, that was an interesting introduction for season two. Uh, well, first of all, I'm kind of sad that Leonard and Penny is like didn't work out. I'm not sure who's more fault is this? Is it like Penny's or Leonard that he, you know, said, oh, here is the community coach, you can go and finish, or Penny just like overreacting? I'm not sure, but hopefully they will try again and Penny will realize that uh, Leonard is, yeah, like a good guy for her. Yeah, <laughs> we, we could see her struggling while she was playing. She probably wanted, like, to cover all of her feelings just shut from the world like okay i'm not gonna date anyone so she started playing <laughs> but yeah hopefully uh leonard and penny they're gonna try again and <laughs> it's gonna be benefit for sheldon so leslie gonna be out of the way so he can relax and sleep tight you know yeah so that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed this reaction please don't forget to like this video subscribe to my youtube channel and share it with your friends and don't forget to stay kind to everyone and spread love and i'll see you in the next video Bye, guys!